Bye, it's Judy time. Yeah! Fail block. Good morning! <laughs> so, okay, you're just going to have to watch like that. I'm making my shake. Then she helped me start it off because we're, um, we're kind of close. We're going to go. Oh, yeah, we got to go. We got to go. We're going to go flying up in the air. This oh, I thought we were going to go flying under the sea. Oh yeah, yeah, no, this time up in the air, honey. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't, don't. I'm sorry that, you know, I burst your... Cutest little plane, like look, it really only sits four people. What is this on the left? Chicken. What are these? Oh, those are uh, brand new airplanes. They just built them, 747s. Oh. The big one is 747, and you also have the third one in the front. That's the brand new 787 too. Wow, I've never seen honey, a strip uh, honey, like this. And all of those. Move your bike closer to your mouth. Oh, like that? Yeah. Okay. And all these are brand new airplanes too. This is actually used to be a runway, and because of the delay that happened with the, with the new, uh, it took a while for the certificate to be obtained by the FAA. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so they had to rent this runway out of the airport, uh, millions of dollars. which was pretty darn amazing. I got a little sick the last 10 minutes because... What's new? Yeah, what's new? <laughs> what else? Uh, ben, she was telling us this history about the Boeing field because we we're, um, right when we were landing, we were right above the Boeing field. Do you want to explain what it was? Oh, I was just II? saying that during World War II, the Boeing roof was camouflaged or it was covered 
with this city view. I don't know if it was a blank, like a big tarp, or if they actually built a city on top of it, so that Japanese bombers, if they came all the way this far, they wouldn't target the Boeing plant because it was such a key tool for the United States for making uh, the the war planes. Yeah, the, I think they did um, put a like a huge tarp over it because that it was says designed here, with a um, oblique view of Seattle Boeing plant in World War II. I'm going to uh, post the picture we're looking at because this is pretty amazing how they camouflaged it because the Boeing is such a target. Well, the Boeing plant is the biggest building in the world too. So for you to cover the biggest building in the world. That's not an easy task. So uh, the fact that they actually had covered it with a huge tarp is even more uh, nuts. But I guess, you know, when you're trying to protect your country, you'll do things like that. That was pretty Because if they attacked their Boeing plants, that would have been bad. I mean, it would have been bad no matter what, but that would cut off our, our plane manufacturing. Well, thanks, Mom, for the flight ticket. Oh, yeah, thank you. I don't think we would have ever done that, so that was the fun experience. Now I might do it again. Go. To, I think we should go to Seattle next. That yeah. would be cool. The thing is, you don't land, though. I don't get it. What's... You don't... They don't land you in Seattle. So? You just see the view. Yeah, you just see the view. What's... I already saw Seattle. But you get a way more intimate view in a smaller plane. I did get an intimate view. When? Of Seattle? Yeah. When? With my ex-boyfriend. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't be jelly. <laughs> We're at Trader Joe's and they have really tiny parking. And the one sucky thing... Oh, they're both backing at the same time. She's oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, anyways. Uh, what sucks is that they have tiny parking. And I'm so... You, you know, I've been driving my... Um, What's it called? I've been driving my Pathfinder for years and I'm not used to driving this and parking it. And I get scared every time I have to park it. Especially at our condo, because our condo parking sucks. And, and we're crooked. I don't know if it makes a difference, but we're crooked. Okay. We're gonna do a Trader, a Trader Joe's haul! Trader Joe's haul! Yeah! We got some cool things! Yeah! Woo! Are you sure you can see me? Okay. We got this stuff green beans, crunchy green beans, can lightly you open that salted up and feed me some? by Trader Joe's. This looks actually delicious, so let's try this. It was like three bucks for this bag. Go ahead and put it in my mouth. It's a little honey. expensive, but. You know, what else? Hey, hey, let me taste. Mmm. Mm. Isn't that good? Yeah. Is it weird that, weird that it's a little sweet? No, beans are sweet. You should. Oh my god, it's good. This is good. You guys need to try this. What else do we have in here? We got Simply Almond Cashew and Mango Check Mix. This is going to be good, especially when you're traveling and you don't really know when your next meal is. I'll just put this in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to throw some cranberries in here too because we have cranberries at home. Rude! Um, this is going to be good for in the plane or when we're out and about when we're in Philippines. We got some regular green beans. Benji made busher to pick organic. Organic? We got two of the cherry tomatoes, which these are good too. Sugar plum. Mm. organic coconut oil and you don't know I've what I'm gonna do with that honey this I heard so many great things about coconut oil you can cook with this 
you can use this as a makeup remover, which I haven't tried yet, but I've seen Nature's Knockout talk about it. They said that they um, put it all over their face for a makeup remover. And so I'm gonna try that, see how can that works. And even for eye makeup remover. Please. Those are good and healthy and nice snack if you you know you want a healthy snack, but I don't know if I'd buy them again. They're interesting. I need a kit. You know what I like are the snap peas. Or not not snap peas, um snow pea what is it? They're like the Cheetos but the healthy version. Um, we're going out to hit up some sushi. We haven't had that in a while and our friend Pat I don't know if you know Pin That. He's a, um, a producer friend of ours. Judy used to use his music in the beginning of her YouTube days, but um, he's taking uh, us out to eat. You know what's cool about vlogging? How even though you're not around people that you care about and that you're friends with or your family, people can see what you're doing. I think that's so cool. It's kind of cool. It's like taking Facebook to next level. I mean, Facebook is always nice because you can connect with people that you don't see very often or people you care about but you're away from and you can, you know, be up to date with what they're doing. But with YouTube, I mean, it's like you're there except you can't talk to them. I don't want to discount actually being with those people and hanging out with them. There's no replacement for that. But it is kind of nice having, you know, people say hey that was cool what you did yesterday or whatever Judy went to a bathroom pin that is getting some moolah and I'm all by myself so we're talking about sirens and uh, the guys are demonstrating the different siren noises and all I know is the fire truck ones which are <laughs> that is it <laughs> Is that a fire truck running down a battery? Or? <laughs> no, that's, they have a weird, like, How about a police car? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> police car goes. <laughs> and the ambulance? The ambulance is like. Oh, this isn't this isn't bad at all actually no, mm -mm. <laughs> how the heck did this happen uh, I'm gonna get my $28 worth oh. what role is this wise guy role it's only for wise guys <laughs> at first <laughs> Oyster shooter. They don't bother me. Maybe next time. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Getting our essentials here at Costco. What are you looking at? What is this? Dun 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 dun. I was looking for the organic section. Uh huh. Um. So yeah, they don't have Juanitas here. We're just gonna Shut have. Up. I'm serious. What? I think they stopped selling it. What, did you ask them? No, I didn't ask. I think we gotta go to. We gotta go to Winco. Uh, no. Uh, I have to go because the sushi is so expensive. Oh snap! There is Juanitas. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole wagon full of it. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Dang it, I returned the sushi so we could go to Winco. No, no. That's ridiculous. Don't drive all the. Okay, so I guess we're not gonna go to Winco. We're gonna be spending a ridiculous amount for sushi wrapper. Freaking $4.40 for sushi wrapper. Oh well, because we're having uh, friends over tomorrow for dinner so we're gonna be preparing dinner. I went to Bartel to pick up my favorite foundation for Philippines which is the color stay because it it actually lasts even though it's so hot and humid. Um, I believe the color oh she put two bags in here. Hold on. 
Wait. The color I got is enriched tan. And this works really well. I just mean for red box. See what's available. Do I get to pick this time? Oh yeah, cool. Uh, crazy stupid love. <gasps> no, friends of benefits. We're gonna watch. Wait, I don't know if I want to watch. We're gonna watch Crazy Stupid Love. Somebody tweeted me and said that it was a really good movie, so that's what we're gonna see. And plus, it's Steve Carell. We're gonna end our night watching this movie, Crazy Stupid Love. Well, actually, um, like at the end of the night, before I take off my makeup, I'm gonna post up a review on the foundation I'm trying on right now. So far, I like it. The skin's not even that way. Oh, I don't know, we'll see. Treat the one that you're loving. All right, lyrics, honey. <laughs> <laughs>